Hey Law Winners, it's Laudy6 here with another video and actually I am in snowy America. Seems kind of weird that I'm not in China right now, but I am at a Chinese restaurant. Now, every time I bring my wife to America, we kind of gorge on these fatty, delicious, sweet filling foods. In America, it gets to be too much after some time. So we always end up finding ourselves looking for Chinese food to kind of satiate that urge to eat some freshly cooked vegetables and kind of Chinese style food. Now, the problem is, is we have to seek out restaurants that actually offer a Chinese-only menu because that's the only way you're gonna get authentic Chinese food. Now, my wife, who is Chinese, has never had the American style of Chinese food before. So I took her to my hometown, and I actually took her to this local Chinese restaurant, and we're gonna order some of the most popular dishes that Americans like to eat in Chinese restaurants, and she is going to rate them based on authenticity and also taste. So join me, I'm gonna go inside. So now I know this one is like gluten eggy thing they call soup, which is totally different than the Chinese one. Unless it's hot. But this, what the heck is this? That's like so American way to eat stuff then. This is wonton? <laughs> wonton crackers. Wait, that's kind of weird. It actually tastes like Vietnamese food to me because they actually have this kind. That's three. <laughs> three out of ten. They're just so far off. But what about the taste? The well, taste is okay. I can give it a five. Five. five yeah. Percent. So this is called beef broccoli. Let me try. Mmm. Actually, I gotta admit, the beef quality is actually really good. Like way better than any restaurant, like random restaurant I can ever go in China. And the taste, it's okay, but it's not, like, it's a little bit different. Because like a lot of things they, they use, it just like really stewy, um, like sticky. So I think, it actually reminds me of the Jiangsu area, Shanghai area kind of cuisine. So, um, tastes pretty good. If I can uh, compare with a dish in China, just maybe also call like a beef and broccoli and stuff. Um, they're quite similar, but I gotta admit, the beef quality is way higher. I like it. Is this a Chinese dish? I give it, um, 8 out of 10. The taste rating is 7 out of 10. Not to uh, correct you, but why are you using a fork? Oh, by the way, <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> you got it all in. <laughs> Full American. What's this? A vegetarian dish? What is this? This is called chow mein, which is chow mein. Wait. What? Where's the noodle? <laughs> There's no noodles. Something got lost in translation and chow mein in America is actually called lo mein, which is the noodles. And chow mein is actually stir fried vegetables. What? Disappointed, I want a chow mein. A right. real chow mein, the noodle, and fry, 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 fry. I'm not a vegetarian. Where are your chopsticks? <sighs> Okay. Just vegetable in compare with some slop that my mom cooked. Um, Did you just call it slop? Yeah. I can't do this. Wow. And um, compare with um, if this have anything similar with the Chinese food? Yeah. It's like. If you have a lot of vegetable in your fridge, you don't know how to cook it, throw it in one pot. That's the thing. Authenticity, this is five out of 10. Tasty, eh -eh, one out of 10. That looks really delicious. I'm a Chinese. Okay, um, what's this? Like, lo looks like roasted ribbies. Mmm. 
I like this. Actually, they taste pretty good. Mm, I had this before in a Hong Kong restaurant. So um, the taste, I can say like eight out of ten. And um, the similarity, eight out of ten. Wait, that just looked like gulo ro though. So what's their name in America? This is called General Tsao's Chicken. <laughs> Excuse me? That <laughs> doesn't know, sound nice. A swear word in Chinese. Yeah, it is. So um <laughs> <laughs> That's a swearing word. <laughs> okay, let me try it. That just hula roll in China. It's exactly the same. Um, it tastes pretty good. So um, eight out of ten. So similarity, it's ten out of ten. It's exactly the same. So what do you guys call this one? This is called an egg roll. Okay. So uh, in Cantonese and, uh, and Mandarin, they call chunjun and chungun. It's like um, it's more like a dim something. So I don't know why they will have it in Chinese restaurant. Probably you guys prefer crispy things. So let me try. That tastes totally different. It's more like um, really they have a lot of batter in it and. Um, kind of dry, so um, the shape is definitely exactly the same and uh, the taste is kind of different. So if that's, um, I give it a score, it will be around like 4 out of 10. The similarity, 4 out of 10. My expectation about American Chinese food will be totally like off the charge weird. But actually they're pretty similar. And, um, but this actually surprised me. This, this, they call it chow mein. That, that hurts my feeling. Other than that, yeah, I love the, the quality about the food. If I have to order one of these dishes again, this is what I rank them in. Beef and broccoli. Tastes like home. Now, I know you guys are here for the Chinese girl's reaction to the food, but let me tell you, I'm half Chinese already. I've been to China seven years now, so this is going to be just as shocking to me. Uh, this is the beef and broccoli. Let's try this out. See if it uh, stacks up. I don't know what she was on about. It tastes like nothing in China. Where you been eating? I mean, it's remotely similar, I guess. It tastes like canned vegetables and kind of like egg, egg battered beef. It's quite good, actually. But it doesn't taste like anything I've had in China. Hi, I'm Ron Diffenbach, uh, local contractor here in Binghamton, New York. My name is David Collins, I'm a carpenter. God, I've probably been eating this for 30 some years now. Um, just always loved it. Loved the rice. Beef and broccoli's been my favorite forever. We were around high school time, we'd go out for lunches and stuff like that. I used to get some Chinese and just experiment and find what I like and what I don't like. I've been to New York and LA where it's, you know, you find the real places, the mom and pop, the back, back places. But uh, this is similar, but I, I don't know if, if it would be the same taste. Same looking, but same taste, I don't know. I usually get beef and broccoli, chicken and broccoli. I like the soups. I like I don't know, uh, wonton soup. I like that. Uh, I usually get the lo mein or the beef and broccoli. Is things that are consistently the same. If you go to Chinese restaurant like here, the food is always consistently the same. It's good. It seems fresh. There's a couple other places that you go to and it just, it's totally off the wall. It, it tastes so much different than what you get here. Thank you so much, Law Winners. I hope you enjoyed the video, but wait, there's more. Actually, Winston Serpent ZA has been driving across the country with his wife and they actually stopped at Panda Express. So why don't you check out this clip here and go click on the card in the top right corner of the screen if you want to see more. <laughs> Not your favorite. Mm. Try some of the sweet and sour sauce. Let's see what you think. It's okay. 
Yeah. Huh. What do you eat in there? They call fortune cookie. How that. can we forget? That's just a thing that not gonna happen in China. You gotta give that a zero authenticity rating, right? Oh, okay. What's your fortune? Mm. Your existence has a positive contribution to man time. Wow. Wow, look at you, Vivi. Big sentence. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <laughs>